What's up guys, this is iTweets here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a tweet called Rocket Launcher. Now what this tweet allows you to do is launch applications straight from the lock screen in a really simple and cool way. So we're going to go to the lock screen here and I'm going to show you exactly how to activate this and all you have to do is tap and hold and then you're going to get your app card preview right there just like you do in the app switcher and as you drag your finger over the application it's going to give you that preview and then all you need to do is let go on the application that you want to open up and it automatically opens that up so really cool now the first thing you have here in the rocket launcher settings is enable or disable switch so you can do that right there now right below that you have the disable blur and disable tint so if you noticed when I activated the uh, rocket launcher it actually blurred out as well as tinted the background so now when I go back and I go to the lock screen and we activate it you can see that the background right there is not blurred out or tinted back there. So let's go back into the uh, applications here. We're going to toggle that back off. And here we have show full screen snapshots. Now this is going to give you not only a preview, but it's going to give it to you in a full screen manner. So if we do this, you can see you get the full screen effect. Now, in my opinion, I like the little app card preview. It just looks a little bit nicer in my opinion, but either way, you can do that if you want to. Now down here we have custom application settings. Now before we get into that, let me show you the blacklist applications because these two don't really work well together. If you have applications set on your custom application settings and then you blacklist them, then it's still going to show those applications. So the first thing I want to show you is the blacklist applications. So what we have here, if we go to the lock screen and we tap on this, you can see we have settings, we have Google Chrome and uh, Cydia as well as the camera, Apple Store, App Store, and Stock. So let's get rid of the settings, Google Chrome, and Cydia. So we're going to put that on our blacklist. So we're going to tap right here. So we're going to tap Google Chrome. Oh, no, it's down here. And settings. All right, so we have those all set up on the blacklist. Now if we go back and we go back to the lock screen, you're going to see those applications are not going to show up. So these are actually all pulled straight from the app switcher if you don't have specific or custom applications set. So all of these are actually open in my app switcher right now, but you can set up specific applications to be on the blacklist like I just did. So let's go back to the settings here, and now I'm going to show you the custom application settings. So all you need to do is tap on applications, and let's say you wanted a specific seven applications on your uh, rocket launcher tweak. So we're going to tap seven of these. That's seven, and we're gonna go back, and then in the application order, you can actually choose the order in which these applications uh, present themselves in Rocket Launcher. So let's say we just want to do eBay, Amazon, Chrome, Alien Blue. We'll just mix this up a little bit, and now we're gonna go back, and it should be Apple Store, eBay, AR7, all that good stuff in that order. And then if we tap and hold, then you can see here this is the order in which I set. So a really cool tweak, and that is it basically in a nutshell. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.